one inequality question that will be interesting so mod of 1 minus x is greater than 1 okay so it's interesting again we see because this mod or absolute value has two different expressions for different parts on the number line so this is mod 1 minus mod 1 minus x is equal to 1 minus x if 1 minus x is greater than equal to 0 or x minus 1 is less than equal to 0 x is less than equal to 1 okay and this is equal to minus of 1 minus x if 1 minus x is less than 0 or x minus 1 is greater than 0 x is greater than 1 okay so we see now 1 so greater than equal to 1 it is 1 minus x and here for this part it is x minus 1 so now let's try to solve it now it's simple so on part where x is less than equal to 1 we have so 1 minus x is greater than 1 or minus x is greater than 0 or x is less than 0 so x is less than 0 is the solution but it has to be also x is less than equal to 1 so it is something like x is this is the first x is less than equal to 1 and then here we get x is less than 0 so we will see this part okay this is 0 so x is less than 0 is the intersection and next is for the right part so we see that 1 minus x we put and 1 minus x is greater than 1 we solve and this is for the first case we do okay for the second part we do minus 1 plus x is greater than 1 and here our constraint is x is greater than 1 so x is greater than 2 and x is greater than 1 so intersection is x is greater than 2 so we see that okay either x should be less than 0 or and here we see x or x should be greater than 2 then this will follow so now let's try to put some values and see if this is correct x is greater than 2 let's say x is equal to 5 so 1 minus 5 mod is minus 4 is equal to 4 is greater than 1 so this looks correct then other one is what x is less than 0 so minus 5 let's take so 1 minus of minus 5 mod so this is 1 plus 6 so mod 6 which is again greater than 1 okay so we see that this is correct so third question let's see which one should we take so I will take one question x plus 3 whole square is less than 2 okay so let's see if it is interesting for you now what happens x plus 3 whole square is less than 2 so something like a square is less than 2 so what will happen So let's see what can be done a square is less than 2 and we know that okay mod of a whole square is equal to a square okay so we can write this as mod a square is less than 2 and because this is positive this is positive so can we take so mod a is less than root 2 okay so what we are doing this implies x plus 3 mod x plus 3 whole square is less than 2 and mod x plus 3 because both are positive so we can do is less than root 2 so this means what if mod a is less than root 2 it implies that a is less than root 2 and is greater than minus root 2 so it lies between them so we can write here so x plus 3 is less than root 2 and is greater than minus root 2 okay so that is the way 
because it means what it is lying between these minus root 2 and root 2 so x is less than root 2 minus 3 and it is greater than minus 2 minus 3 okay so this is the value so we have x is root 2 so both of them are in fact becoming so negative okay so this is the way so again so it is something like root 2 is 1.44 if i remember correctly <coughs> so what happens so 1.44 minus 3 so it's 1.56 so minus 1.56 approximately and this is minus 4.5 4 4 something like that okay in these in between these so it is becoming correct so let's try so minus 1.5 and minus 4 so minus 3 also lies between them so we can try with this value minus 3 so minus 3 plus 3 is 0 0 square is less than 2 minus 2 also falls in this so minus 2 plus 1 whole square is equal to minus 1 whole square and this is less than 2 so we see that okay our solution seems to be correct okay so this was about absolute value the beginner class i hope you understand this so thanks a lot